cliffs and now you can say you drove there. I so. drove the one that went off the cliff that chased Keenan Wynn. There you go. <laughs> you just drove it. Oh, that was a big thrill. That was a big thrill. Oh my god. Yes, it's a My heart is still racing. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm Clayton Caps, and I had the privilege in 2016 to become the owner of this Disney treasure. Uh, this is Herbie number 10 and number 11, and I'll explain that in a minute. But uh, I was at Mid-America Mid Motor Works Fun Fest back in 2015, met some Volkswagen guys, and one of them was a gentleman named Tori Alonzo, and he helped my dream come true. Um, but yeah, he owned this car. What he did was uh, there were 11 cars in the Love Bug. This is car number 10, which is known as the dispensable car or the or the uh, the stunt car. And uh, this is famous for going down the mountain in the after the mine shaft and and um, when it's drunk on Irish coffee, bouncing up and down. And a matter of fact, if you'll notice these places on the bumper right here, these are where cables used to uh, be hung oh, wow. to make the car go up and down. And then in post production, they edited them out. But to make the hood recoil back and forth, they actually put these bungee cords and they're still, the old bungee cords are still attached here. They're kind of broken and they're old and dry rotted. But these are the old bungee cords. And, wow, uh, wow. And then of course the most famous scene for this car is when Thorndike bumps the car off of the, the cliff and that's how it got its damage from the love bug. And so yeah, it's number car number 10. And I'll show you really quick walking around here. It's just kind of a kind of a marks a lot, but they just put number ten there. Oh, that's awesome for car number ten. And so in the in the sequel, Herbie rides again, and they came out in 1974. Uh, it did not appear as Herbie in that movie, but it uh, they needed a junkyard car for where Herbie's going around beeping and making these Volkswagens come to life to save this lady's firehouse. That's how the story goes. Well, the, in one scene, they wanted to be a part of the bug army. They wanted a, a junkie car, so they actually said, hey, let's use parts from a junk car in the love bug, which was this one. And so they they covered it with black and yellow, uh, I think it was latex house paint, I believe that's right. And they hung an extra junkie door and a fender on that side to make it look extra junky. And they put wheel spacers on the wheels to make it wobble. So they really went all out to make this look like a, a jalopy. <laughs> and uh, so this was uh, the junkyard car known as car number 11 out of the Herbies they used in Herbie Rides Again. And uh, yeah, so it's it's a very unique car. Um, Tori actually got um, uh, Michelle Lee that was in the first movie, her signature. Uh, wow. Dean Jones had played D uh, Jim Douglas. His signature. Buddy Hackett uh, was ill at the time. He, he never was able to get his actual signature, but just out of respect to the character and to Buddy Hackett, he had his name stenciled up here. This is the original engine um, that they used during filming. Tori said there's a plate on the bottom that would clearly have to be removed to be able to pull the engine out, and he doesn't think it ever been unwelded or cut. So, to his knowledge, it's the same engine since it was filmed in. Uh, 
it came out in 74, so I guess it'd be 1973. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. The car was originally Horizon Blue. Oh, there it is. Wow. That's, that's part of the original color right there. Yeah. I was asked, like, what would you do with the car? And I said, I'm just so proud that you kept it a treasure like this where you see the original dents, the original paint. And, and I said, and I said, I would keep it just like that. Uh, I, restoring it would, and everybody looks at old things different, but restoring it for me would be taking away from the originality. I'm going to say, I keep on saying it's the most unique thing about the car. <laughs> There's so many unique things. Herbie was always portrayed as a 1963 through oh, the movies, right, right. but this, if you'll notice, this is kind of cut out. And what it is, is this is a 57 yeah, it's oval dashes window over. beetle. <laughs> so yeah, you notice by the dash. You also notice by the, 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 the split windows in the ovals had this center louver that was not cut out. There's another reason why. Uh, to my knowledge, if I understood Tori right, there were two ovals used in the love bug. One was a fake rag top, which this is the fake one. The other rag top, which was also an oval, was used in different scenes. Um, another thing, if you'll appear through here, they in this shelf back here, they've got uh, it cut out so they can do quick clutch adjustments <laughs> and change fuel filters and things like that. So, uh, yeah, and when Tori got the car, it still had remnants of yellow paint. Um, let's see, maybe, yeah, right here. Uh, oh, that's yeah. from actually Herbie Rides Again when they had it painted yellow. Oh, wow. He, he took he used like a, one of those those rocks and, and mineral oils and uh, different things to just hours and hours of blood, sweat, and tears to bring back the original Love Bug paint. So this is the original paint from the first movie. Wow. And uh, so it's, it's a treasure. Uh, wow. It really is. So, you know, there's a, a registry out there that lists the known ones, and I'm, I'm embarrassed to say I don't know the exact number, but... Uh, for some reason, I'm thinking there might be, I might want to embarrass myself saying, this, maybe 20, 25 out oh, there. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, now, most of them have been repainted and fixed up. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the- Wow, one of the few. One of the few. Um, I believe there's one or two others besides this one that still that still have the, the original paint, I believe, but uh, I can't remember the detail. No, that's okay, that's okay. All right, thank you, Creighton, thank you. Yeah.